Hello everyone. So in the previous video we uh, aligned these buttons. So let me make them delete and stuff like that. So go to the delete form and here I name this uh, type submit. So let me assign this value and I'm going to make this uh, delete button and I'm also assigning this uh, danger. Give it a refresh and yes now these are properly as mentioned okay so now i'm going to edit this form so before jumping to the edit we are going to first view it so let's go here and uh, create a show blade here dot blade dot php and here i'm going to display this route uh, this uh, to do right so now let me go there uh, go to the home blade where is this where it is it's this one right so let me copy all of the stuff and paste them here so in the login i'm going to display the name of to do to do show page i'm naming this so let me uh, design this uh, show page so first would be the your to do is like this and you can name this like uh, to do and here you can define your to do title and uh, then you can define its description right so your to do title is this description is this one right description so let's go back and uh, now work on this uh, show so let's go ahead and create this show blade so let me uh, copy this route and paste this here so here we are going to make this show and then i'm going to add this id here because we are going to display only uh, one to do so that's why we need this id so here we need also show right so let's go to the controller and in the controller we need to create this show method so i'm very tired because i speak uh, i'm speaking from many hours so that's why i'm tired okay and here you need to display uh, this, uh, return your view but before returning you need to display it so id that we are getting this id or not okay so to do is having with this id so here we name this to do dot show and then we need this parameter when we are calling this to do so let's go to the index blade and here we are uh, going to when we click on this view so we are going to move this to this show blade so add this a uh, route here so it would be a show route and uh, here if we uh, leave this uh, like this so it will throw an exception that this required a parameter so let me show you that how it's throwing this error so you can debug this when you face this error so now it's printing that missing parameter for route to do shoes so displaying that id so missing id great and here i'm going to type the id of to do's so we have this variable to do and we are getting this uh, from this to do id right so this id is a primary key so now this error will be gone and yes it's gone and uh, now it's going to this uh, show mm, show one right because we have only one and this id is one in the database give it a refresh and yes it's having one id okay so now let's click on this it's going to uh, this controller and display this id so click on this and uh, it says that get method is not supported for this route so let me go there and check that oh, what is oh we define this post so let me make this get and then it's going to work because we are getting something not submitting something so click on this and yes we are getting the id of one and we are also uh, getting this here right so now the time is to find this id in the database and then 
uh, if this is fine then we are going to display this uh, display its detail so here we are checking that uh, where or uh, you can uh, we have id so we can find this directly through this find method okay so here we are uh, getting this id and uh, here let me make this uh, to do and check that if we uh, did not get this to do then i'm going to display return this back okay so first you need to check the exception and then you need to print other okay so here i'm going to print return okay and uh, to route so you can define this like uh, to route we are going to return our user back on the index page to do index with message with error with errors and this error accept an error uh, this accept an array so uh, unable to unable to locate the to do right and then you need to type here uh, semicolon right and if it's finds then it's going to return this to do to a view okay so we are going to add this to a view and then this view is a show to do show and then i'm going to pass this um, pass this uh, to do and then this to do variable to do okay so we already declared this uh, to do title and to do description so it will display the to do title and description give it a refresh and yes now displaying that your title is this one your to do description is this one so let me make this in the new line so it looks uh, more pretty and yes now it's uh, looking more elegant so now the time is to build here add a button off so we are going to make this go back button so here we need to uh, make this href not button okay oops href and then i'm going to assign it a uh, helper here so what is the name of helper so i'm going to assign it a uh, helper of back or i think it would be um, uh, let me google it uh go back oops go back on previous uh previous page laravel okay you can search this like this it will uh it's a previous i think url previous okay go here and you need to type url and then you need to call previous so give it a refresh so it's good i'm going to display a simple undefined previous so i think uh I need to define it as function give it a refresh and yes it's working so let me add this also a new line and make this a uh, beautiful button so i'm adding this btn btn info and it will be also a smaller btn btn sm sm for small okay so let me also check the video size it's going bigger so let's click on this go back so it will go back to the index page so where you come from this page so it will go back on the previous page so uh, hope you are getting more confident about your skill so if you are like this video subscribe the youtube channel and i will meet you in the next one bye bye